With already some evidence and personal experiences being captured upstairs, we decided to take a break. However, in the middle of our breather, another unexplainable event happened, as Nick explains. So, uh, we were just sitting here, enjoying a little break time, beverages rebattering up, and um, I had the flashlight half unscrewed, so it was barely in contact with the battery. Um, and, but it was and, standing there. Yeah, static. it's just it's sitting on the toilet in here, and um, it just went out. So no, we didn't get it on tape. Didn't get it on tape, of course, because we were on break time. But um, hoping in the next like five seconds that whoever turned the battery off can turn it back on, give us a little light. Although nothing more happened at this time, it was another event that had us excited for what could come. Thinking the activity was still up, we headed straight to the basement. Or it couldn't have been any creepier. But we were sitting here. It's messed up. Is that what windows or anything? You feel under there? No. You got a duck there? Your neck's gonna be off. I got this little hole to stand in. Come in here. Hey, come in here. Don't worry about that shit. Keep going and then turn left. Keep turning left. I'll be right behind you. Yeah. No, you're not. You're sure the no, door. go ahead. Then... No, no, no. Check this out. Is that not the end to nowhere? What, like in all the shows where there's a portal to hell? Yeah. You think that's the portal to hell? No. But it's as creepy as hell. Where does that thing lead to? Set right here. And when I sat here, there, we heard noises from above. I'm kind of right over here. These guys are in this room here. And now I've got myself in the creepy hallways right here. Similar to the downstairs of the Union Hall during our last investigation, the basement may have been an eerie place, but nothing of significance was caught. However, the same can't be said for the bedroom on the main floor, which is where we headed next. Did you just hear something? I think the ghost farted. It smells really bad. Ready? You want us to come in this room? Nice. Did you guys hear that? It did. Over there? No, other side. Did you just make a noise for us? We started in the living room area where again we heard unexplainable noises. Not too long after we started asking questions did we get a clear EVP. Are you down here with us? Are you down here with us? A few minutes later, Nick and I acknowledge we heard something. Although you do see me creep into the frame, I was merely standing up to turn and look toward the direction we hear the noise while our recorder picks up this. Two knocks if you want us to leave, one knock if you want us to stay. At this point in time we didn't know how active the main room was, but we definitely had the same feeling as we did previously upstairs. Just a bit later, Nick has a personal experience of his own followed by an eerie EVP that we can't quite make out. However, Nick's experience is validated as we capture the EVP around the same time. I'm standing over there again. All right, I'm getting like super chills right now. Yeah. Started on my like right, right shoulder. Super chills. Are you touching me right now? Other right. 
just going for. No, you're fine. Just, All right. Okay. I'm just going for. No, you're fine. Just, Is the chair still sitting there? A bit later, we moved into the bedroom area to start an EVP session. Our trip to the abandoned house nine months ago yielded more than just the EVP upstairs, as I explain our experience in this room. All right, Lance. How does it feel sitting on the chair? But you can tell, like, when you sit down, it's colder by your feet. But the last time we were here, it wasn't a draft. It was a... Yeah. No, it was like... It, it was, was electrical current. Yeah. Current. And it went away. That closet kind of freaks me out. Why don't you go in there? I am semi-confident that there is not a thing in here that does not creep me out. <laughs> We sat here last time and think you were around us. Can you come join us again? Something happened in this room? Something bad? We went for quite some time without gathering any more evidence until near the end we caught something intriguing visually. As we continue to ask questions, this anomaly is caught on the night vision camera as it takes a direct line to me. The only reason we find this curious is because it's the only time something like this was caught on film all night long. We're curious. We want to try and prove that the afterlife exists. Thought you could help us. Thought you could help us. Anyway, I want to light up the world. This does have some charm to it. We reloaded on batteries and other gear necessary for the tail end of our investigation. We knew we weren't quite done with what, as far as we felt, was the most haunted part of the house, the upstairs bedroom. And similar to our previous experiences, it didn't disappoint.